Hi, this is Andy Hoskinson, the founder of the Ultimate Research Assistant, and today I'm going to show you how to use my tool to do biomedical text mining. Now, what is biomedical text mining? It's a relatively new uh, development in the field of health informatics where uh, you use uh, text mining techniques and tools to uh, mine uh, biomedical concepts and relationships from the uh, terabytes and terabytes of uh, unstructured text documents that you find in the you know biomedical and health field uh, you know mostly things like studies and uh, other other types of uh, texts that contain valuable information but they're all unstructured text uh, the good news is uh, you can do that using the ultimate research assistant on the web for free and uh, you don't have to spend you know tens of thousands of dollars on these very expensive and specialized tools that uh, other vendors are, are, are pushing. Okay, so to get started, um, you go to the Ultimate Research Assistant homepage. There's a screenshot of it on the screen right now. And uh, you go ahead and in the search box, uh, you know, you, you start typing in a medical topic. Uh, let's, uh, let's choose a topic like hypertension. Um, hypertension or high blood pressure is uh, is a common condition that uh, a lot of people have and a lot of people could relate to. Uh, so you'll notice that uh, we have an autocomplete feature and it'll show up in the list and you can just select it and click on the generate research report uh, button. That will load the, uh, the research report view and uh, you can see that on the screen right now. Uh, and you'll notice that there's a topic summary and some other uh, summarizations of uh, you know some of the the texts that the uh, ultimate research assistant found on the the, the topic of uh, hypertension. Now, what we're going to do is we're just going to go ahead and click on the mind map link and go to the mind map because the mind map uh, really kind of shows a lot of the relationships that uh, that we want to highlight here um, that uh, that I think you'll find uh, most interesting. Uh, now, the mind map view basically shows a graph. Uh, structure of nodes and links between nodes showing um, basically taking your topic in this case hypertension and uh, uh, you know kind of organizing it into a hierarchical taxonomy if you will of broader terms and narrower terms and you'll notice that what the ultimate research assist assistant did which is very interesting is it basically uh, analyzed all of the text documents that have found uh, concerning your topic of hypertension and it extracted uh, related concepts and relationships between those concepts and a lot of the concepts it found are um, are related uh, uh, diseases, conditions, and symptoms of hypertension and th th this is what makes the tool very useful is that it helps you uncover um, related medical concepts that relate to your the disease that you're studying and it allows you to kind of drill down and, and look at the literature behind that so for example um, you know for for hypertension some of the related terms are you know things like uh, you know systolic blood pressure um, you know kidney disease artery disease renal artery stenosis um, pulmonary hypertension you know these are all conditions that are related to hypertension that uh, were uncovered by the tools so you didn't have to dig through all of the research to find them yourselves and you can use the tool to drill down into the underlying documents. Uh, you know, for example, uh, one insight that the Ultimate Research System found, you'll notice on the, uh, the screen right now, uh, if you look at the mind map, you'll, you'll see a node for skin disease. And when I first saw that, I said, well, what does skin disease have to do with hypertension? Well, I actually drilled down and I found this document. You can see this uh, screenshot here. This document that shows that uh, there is, in fact, a relationship between skin disease uh, and hypertension. And, and it was, uh, you know, uh, discovered in a study, I guess, a couple of years ago. And without the ultimate research assistant, I, I might not have even uncovered that particular relationship. So that's the value of the tool. Now, uh, what we did was we searched, uh, you know, the entire web, but if you wanted to limit your search to, um, to you know, say, for example, documents that were on a government website like the uh, 
uh, the NIH website or the CDC website, you can do that by going to the uh, uh, advanced search screen. And once you're on the advanced search screen, uh, you know, you can kind of click the uh, connections widget and then select the exact connection that you want. Well, anyway, this concludes our presentation uh, on how to use the Ultimate Research Assistant uh, for biomedical text mining. Uh, and, of course, you can find it on the web at uh, ultimateresearchassistant.com, and it's free to use. Uh, there's no reason for you to go out and spend tens of thousands of dollars on these specialized tools when you can use our tool for free. So go ahead and visit us at ultimateresearchassistant.com, and uh, go to our Facebook page and subscribe to our Facebook page and uh, tell, you, tell us uh, what you think about our tool. Uh, this is Andy Hoskinson thanking you very much and uh, wishing you a pleasant day.